So let's hop on into uh, Toy Shop Boys. No relation to the Pet Shop Boys. <laughs> I got your toys. No. <laughs> That's just right. well, why? So, uh, hmm. bothering to take their toys when it'd been better to get them first and take the toys second. Nah. <laughs> so, no. how does this game work, you ask? Well, it's simple. You actually have three playable characters that you can switch between by pressing the uh, one button. Mm. Personally, I love the guy with the uh, lightsaber the most because he's useless. He can't hit anything that is on the ground. <laughs> Which means that he has the lowest range, he can only hit half of the enemy types, and he has the slowest repeating speed. Wow. Meanwhile, there's this guy with freaking boomerangs at home towards enemies. I mean, talk about being second string. Yeah, sure, you got that really neat lightsaber, but guess what? We're flying. You can't even reach the enemy. Perhaps there is some much later stage in which he is very useful. He might be a boss killer, I suppose, since he probably has some absolutely ridiculous damage output once he actually gets into melee combat, but, uh... And think about it, when you were a kid, which weapon would you want? The boomerang or the lightsaber? Lightsaber! I actually had a boomerang. Oh, well, I did too, but... Didn't have lightsabers back then. S Americans. <laughs> I did have an inflatable tiger, and uh, I believe I had a copy of the Sword of Omens. Nice. But no lightsaber. Let's start it again, so. and let's. Uh... Huh? I can't actually select easy, normal, or hard. Oh, I need to use the select button to select my difficulty. That's kind of logical. Yeah, except for the fact that I have a D-pad that does nothing. <laughs> okay, that's not so logical. Uh, what I do remember best from my shadow, though, is the kite I had, because it was a huge black shark. Ooh. That's cool. It was pretty badass, actually. It was especially fun that when there were these kite flying meetings that we have in Sweden during the summer when all the fathers take the children along and everyone flies kites in a big field. And they would bring these like gas station bought little triangular things. <laughs> and you had the awesome one. With, yeah. And then I would walk in and set it up and start flying my shark kite that was literally bigger than I was when I got it. I could just see the envy in all the other children's eyes. It was terribly difficult to fly though, since it was actually shaped like a shark as well. Not to mention that when the wind actually picked up, it almost pulled me off my feet, so it was usually my father <laughs> that had, had to fly the damn thing. I always had the gas station cheapies. I don't think we actually got ours from the gas station, but you know, they were those basically a piece of plastic with something printed on it, like a unicorn or Batman or whatever. Still lots of fun. Yeah, yes. I mean, the, like with many of these childhood toy things, I mean, the toy itself it, is fun. I mean, it doesn't have to be something expensive or super rad or anything. I mean, flying a kite on its own is pretty fun. Mm -hmm. Without these F1 cars, I'm going to hit you with my lightsaber. Only I can't because, uh, yeah, we're on the ground. <laughs> what the heck are these things? Hmm. 
This has been going on for a while. Is it about time for a boss or something? It does seem a little... still waiting. I just like that, obviously, this game was made, made in the late 80s because one of the toys they include is the sunglassed singing flower. Yep. Yes. Yes, I was just... Frank and Dan said it in the chat. They were actual products you put on a radio or whatever and they dance. Uh, a lot of those things I wonder why the heck those even sold, really. <laughs> I don't know. I don't believe I ever... <laughs> I don't think I owned one. My personal favorite, though, is those where there's uh, a fat man that starts humping the air to music <laughs> if it's played. I, I always wonder who the hell buys something like that unironically. Um, I don't know. I mean, do you do you go to a store and you see a pervy Peter or whatever its name is? <laughs> I've never seen one, to be honest. I did not know they came in the Humping Man variety. <laughs> Maybe they are only sold in Europe. But I I bet there's somewhere to be found in the US, but I mean... They're just ridiculous. I mean... Why would you want a plastic man standing on your desk that every time you start up your stereo, he starts humping the air and grinning at you? I mean, what could you possibly stand to gain from something like that? <laughs> I don't know. But considering my father-in-law is the proud owner of one of those singing plastic fish things. Oh, yes, yeah. Billy Bass, thinking, thank you. Yeah, I was thinking of bringing those up as well, the singing bass. What the hell? Why did every single family with children in the entire world buy one? I think the kids bought it and gave it to the parents or whatever, but yeah, what the hell. I, I can't explain it. It just has a, a special thing that ap appeals to kids and adults think is absolutely stupid. I don't know. The funny thing is here in Sweden it was mainly adults that bought them. Kids thought they were really, really uncool. Oh my. Well, they were right. Yeah, I was about to say, for once children knew, knew the score here. Destruction rates. Are we really the heroes when we have an official destruction rate? Especially when you're destroying toys. Hey, Lego. Ooh. And a ruined city. It's hmm. a bit, uh... Huh. The ruins of Legoland, I suppose. I guess so. So either those are really big Legos or tiny city. Yeah, tiny city or the biggest freaking Legos ever. I've actually been to Legoland, by the way. The original one in Denmark. It seems like it would be actually pretty cool. It is, really. They built the entire... port side quarter of Copenhagen in Lego and stuff like that. It's pretty damn impressive. I'm yeah, sure that... Go over, go over the numbers of pieces used and you really asked. <laughs> poor bastards that sat around and built these things, my god. Actually, I think it'd be the opposite. It'd be pretty cool. I mean, you do get to play with Legos all day. Well, I think it's fun until you've done it for ten hours a day for three That's four probably years. true. I mean, it's the same as me. I mean, I work as a game reviewer, and let me tell you, playing games is, is fun, sure, until you need to review a really shitty piece of crap and you need to play it for 10 hours despite hating it every single step of the way. At least then at the end you get to write a scathing review though. Yeah, I suppose, but uh, 
the developers never read them, nor do the publishers, so... <laughs> that doesn't really help. At least I get to warn people not to buy them, I suppose. Exactly. Hey, I just beat the high score. Wow. Check me out. But on the other hand, I'm playing on easy mode. Still, I would assume you get less points for playing on easy mode. So. Yeah, probably. These raids do not look terribly safe. No. In fact, they look engineered for crashes. Which is what everybody I know who had brains as a kid did. The Adams Family Rail System. Mm-hmm. Uh, right, Lumbiai, thank you for reminding me. I should show up the maximum power for all the characters. The lightsaber... got longer. <laughs> and the laser gun turned into a spread shot. Nothing too surprising, but... Uh... And uh, yeah, th yeah, thank you for bringing it up, Lambjack. I was getting into a bit of a meditative state here where I was just casually having a conversation with Dove <laughs> while playing games. <laughs> oh. There are little frogs flying those UFOs. Oh shit, it's a Gundam. Lightsaber attack. Oh hey, the lightsaber can apparently uh, parry incoming projectiles. I guess that could be useful. Not that it will help us much now that we lost our power, but... Uh... Ah, you can actually just hold the button down as a lightsaber guy and <laughs> just spin it. <laughs> For the lazy shooter in you. And he spins it above his head. I really like that. He's somehow holding it with his left hand immediately above his head and spinning it. How does that work? He's a kid, he's stretching. Oh, come on. Well... I think that's enough toy shop boys, actually. Yeah. So it is enjoyable watching you get one shotted by bosses. That's why we're all here. Well, having played that game, which was pretty good, and yes, push run is pretty push run. Uh, pretty awesome, actually. Another neat little shoot 'em up. So, uh, since we played a neat game, let's play one that's not quite as neat.